My name is Sylvia Blakely, and I don't want to be silent anymore. I had an abortion because I didn't know that my life, that all life had intrinsic value. You see, I was molested at nine, and I lost my sense of worth. It seemed easier in a moment of crisis to devalue the life of my child, Ellen Francis. So I chose my life over hers. That's my greatest regret. During the abortion procedure, I experienced an assembly line. The atmosphere was so cold, it was the type of cold that a blanket could never touch. I was given a light sedative and told reassuringly, it will all be over soon. At the sight of the doctor who was masked and gloved, I dissociated. I went to some distant nightmare place inside my body. I remember hearing a horrible sucking sound, feeling pain and pressure, and waking up just enough to see a canister full of my own blood and her gore. Immediately after the abortion, I felt numb. There was no comfort for me other than a chair and some graham crackers and water. I went to my sister's apartment and slept the day away. And weeks later, I returned to school and acted like nothing had happened. As time went on, after the abortion, I felt and experienced a need to defend my abortion choice. I even worked at Planned Parenthood for 18 months dispensing contraceptives. Contraceptives that I knew that even in my own case, they don't always work. Watching the same beautiful girls come in and out and in and out for STDs and contraceptives hit something inside of me and I made a shift. I found help and forgiveness through a beautiful nudge from our Heavenly Father almost 40 years after my abortion. I attended a forgiven and set free Bible study. And right before the pandemic, I left that Zoom room with my hair on fire. <laughs> God beautifully broke me and freed me and sent me on a mission to minister to other women and men through art. And that is why I will never be silent again.